In this video, we're on to the second last episode on the Minion series. I just set up a simulation of the blue team versus the red team in terms of the minions and towers. I also made small changes here and there and made sure everything is working as intended. If you guys want the project file, you can go to my Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series project files. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, whether you join for free or pledged. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Starting off, you'll see that I've duplicated pretty much all the prefabs that I had, such as the minions, projectiles, turrets, minion spawners, etc. So here we have the blue side and the red side. Another thing I've added is removing the turret tag and making new tags which are enemy minion, ally minion, enemy turret, and ally turret. You would obviously go ahead and change these tags based on the prefab. I kept the ally minions as blue and the enemy minions as red. For the minions itself, I did adjust the rigid body, removing the gravity and adding the mass to 100, even though I think it's not really necessary, and ticking the box where it says is kinematic. Looking at the turret script, this was originally called enemy turret or enemy tower. I renamed it to turret so that it can be placed on both enemy and ally turrets. I've also added these lines to the update where if the tag of the turret is ally or enemy, it will run a function where you can find the opposite teams and target that. So pretty much the ally turret will find the enemy minions and the enemy turret will find the ally minions. Scrolling down, this is what the code would look like. Pretty much a copy and paste, just changing the game object tags to match the method. Moving on to the objective stats, this was originally called stats but I've changed the name since one of my subscribers said they got confused on which stat scripts they were using since they've included the stats from the mobile character. After, I just replaced everything to objective stats instead of stats on where it needed to be renamed. I've also added the line of code for when checking enemy turret and ally turret in the take damage function. In the projectile script, I just changed the tag in the start method to either ally or enemy turret since they'll have the same stats anyway. I've also added the objective stats here. The same will apply for the minion range projectile script. Scrolling down to the damage target, I've made a check when either of the enemy or ally minions or turret find a target, they'll be able to call a damage function. In the minion AI script, I added a public bull called is in combat which we'll call later on with the combat scripts. Here I just cleaned up a code a bit and made the move towards target to a separate void and called it here. Looking at the melee combat script, I set the is in combat to false when the time dot time is greater than the attack cooldown time. I also set it to false when the minion isn't performing a can attack method so that it can perform the attack loop causing it to auto attack. Only when the attack method is called is when I set the is in combat to true, making it suitable for both enemy and ally minions. I did the exact same thing for the minion range combat script as you can see here. Going back into Unity and pressing play, I'll let the game play out and you can see both minions from blue and red go towards each other and ballot it out. You can obviously adjust the damage and speed on either side, but I kept things the same so it may be harder to determine a winner since they die at the same time. You can play around with these settings, but once there are no minions on either side of either team, you'll head towards the tower and attack them. That is all for this video. Next video, I hope to finalize the series and just optimize the script. I do want to get into making more content and start making the MOBA ability series. If you want the project, you can go ahead by subscribing to my Patreon down below along with the rest of the MOBA project files. If you have any questions or suggestions or just want to join my community, my Discord will also be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!